What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. We just had an awesome time talking about how to overcome a negative mindset and adopt a winning mentality. I want you to join me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, noon PST time, because we're changing lives. You know, in order to be successful as a true esports competitor, you have to change your negative mindset. You have to change your mentality. And so, man, we're having an awesome time here. Do not miss out. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Join us on ProGuys.com or download for free the pro guys app man so much is going on we want you to be a part of it welcome to your motivation show i am your motivation guy and we're about to get this started man once again who wants to win like who wants to win more than ever who wants to grow in their game who wants to advance in their game? Who wants to be a pro in this game, man? Who wants to make it? Who wants to see their dreams come true? Well, if you wanna see your dreams come true, my friends, it's, it's about time to change that mindset. Because without a mindset, man, you can't do anything. I don't care how many tips and tricks you learn from all of our channels. I don't care how many classes you take. If you do not change the way you think, if you're a negative person, all the things you learn, you're never gonna be able to do because it all starts with your mindset. So the first thing is, before we invite our first caller on, what is a mindset? What is a mindset? You know, a mindset is what's happening up here. You know, it's like the thoughts that you're meditating on every single day, that is your mindset. And you know, with your mindset, you can either have a limited mindset or you can have a limitless mindset. And for me to do what I'm doing today, guys, I've had to have a limitless mindset. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to start turning every negative thing in your life, I want you to turn it around and make it for a positive. Like turn the negative into the positive. And this is how you do it. You know, growing up, oh my goodness, man, I remember when I was younger, there was a group of people that I used to hang around with. I don't even know why I would hang around them. I just wanted to be accepted. And you know, this group, they made me feel like I didn't belong. You know, they used to always joke and every, every joke, like everything would be directed towards me. And they always made me feel like I wasn't good enough. And this, this pain that I went through in my life, you know, I just kept going, you know, and what I'm doing today, I'm, I'm literally turned the negative into my positive. And because I felt the pain of being rejected, I don't want anyone else to go through that pain. And it has made me the motivation guy. And so I'm here today helping so many kids, helping so many young people achieve their dreams. And so I want you to follow my footsteps, turn that negative into a positive. Everything that has come against you in your life, I'm telling you one day, you're gonna be able to help someone else. You're gonna be able to say, I went through it. I know what you're going through. I remember I used to lose like this. I remember I used to get tilted. I remember I used to have problems with my anger. I used to have low self-esteem, but look at me today. And you're gonna be able to help so many people achieve their dreams. You guys ready? Are you guys ready to change this world one person at a time? Who's ready? Come on, I wanna see in the chat. Who is ready to change this world one, one person at a time? Because there's so much negativity in this world, but you know what? We're gonna be the ones that are gonna change it. And I need your help, man. We need an army. You know, we need an army of people that are gonna say, you know what, enough is enough. Let's, let's, let's change this world, you know, to a good place. So we're gonna have our first caller coming on. Uh, we got my boy Finlay. Finlay is about to come up on the call. We're gonna hear his story. And I just wanna, you know, I wanna help him overcome all the negative stuff because it's about having that winning mentality. So I got my main man, Finlay, on the phone. How you doing, Finlay? I'm doing good. How are good. you doing? I'm good, man. Now everybody can hear you. So you've been struggling with a negative mindset. Can you kind of explain like where you've been struggling with that? Yeah, so it, all, it started at school. I was like very anxious at school and and had the fear that uh, I wouldn't fit in anywhere. So I kind of just isolated myself and I took that into the gaming world um, in Fortnite. Yeah. So at school, when did this start happening when you start feeling like, you know, you couldn't fit in? It was a transition into the first year of high school because um, I, I kind of dispersed from the people I was friends with in primary and then at, at high school I was like I wasn't like a popular kid and I didn't like I had the fear that I wouldn't fit in anywhere with anyone so I just isolated myself yeah yeah I know we have a little bit of an echo we're trying to work out so you started to isolate yourself like what did that look like for you to isolate yourself uh, it was like just going in 
like sitting on my own, uh, keeping to a very small group of friends, uh, things like that. Griff, man, I mean, I, I totally understand. I've been there um, and I know what that's like. So, so being isolated, you know, like that, that you brought that, that those, those negative things, you kind of brought that into, into gaming, right? Yeah. And so when you, when you say you have a negative mindset, when it comes to, to gaming, you know, what does that look like for you? Like, do you think like every game that you're going to play, you're going to lose? Like, how does, what does that feel like and look like? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like I go into a fight and I just know I'm going to die straight away because I'm obviously not a good, well, I'm a decent player, but like, I just, I've just got that mindset that I'm not going to be good enough against the people I'm against. Let me ask you this. Have you ever played and there's been a time where it's like you're feeling good about yourself and you've seen like a different outcome? Yeah. Um, recently I've been playing with this new person. He's quite motivating. He's, um, like, cause I was, I, I, my first game I played with him, uh, I, I was like, had that mindset and then he was like, you can do this and not just like, and then I actually won the fight. Wow. So what is your vision? What is your vision? Like, where do you want to be? Um, and let's say, let's um, say like, where do you want to be in two years with gaming? Um, I would like to think that I could make it pro, but <laughs> it, it requires some hard work and dedication. That's for yeah, sure. Definitely. Well, Finlay, man, I know, I know you relate to, to so many people that are watching right now. If Finlay relates to you, I want you to put it in the chat. Like, do you go through this? Are you, do you start every game just like having this mentality where you know you're going to lose? It's like, no matter how much you practice, it's like you start and you just know that you're going to lose. Finlay, do you go through that? Like you, you're in creative, yeah. you know, you're putting in, you're putting in the time man. you, you're putting in the hours, yeah. you know, you're watching our videos, right? Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So Finlay, I, I think, man, I think your story is so relatable to so many of us. I want to tell you that I used to always expect the worst. Um, and I used to always expect the worst because of my past experiences. And it wasn't until I started to, to just have a little faith, man, have a little faith in myself and, and the, you know, about the work that I put in, I started to do well. You know what it sounds like to me, Finlay? I feel like you overthink. I feel yeah, like you're overthinking, yeah. bro. I think you're really, really good. I can tell, you know, you, you're a solid, you have a solid foundation. It seems like you have your mechanics together. It seems like, you know, you, you, you have your identity as a Fortnite player, but I feel like when you're getting into the game, I think you're just overthinking too much. Do you think that's true? Yeah. So like what's going on in your mind when you're, when you're playing? Like what are, what are some thoughts? Like you just, you just get off the bus. Like what's going on in your mind? Um, I'm gonna get uh, contested at spawn and then I'm gonna die. Um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get bad loot. Yeah. So this is what Something I want like you. To, this is what I want you to do, bro. I, I want you to start your games, and I and I want you to, you know, just kind of just have a blank slate. Sometimes, you know, it's so important, guys, to just clear your mind. You know, whether you know even before you play. Uh, maybe maybe think about something positive may, may you know uh read something positive you know say some things about yourself and and just kind of get that confidence going can you do that finlay can you start i think you yeah. say i think you say too many negative things about yourself and i want you to start yeah. saying positive things about yourself can you do that yeah i can Okay, this is what I want you to do, Finley. I want you to start writing things down. Like write down like ten different things, and, and I want you and, and I want you to have goals, and, and I want you to have positive things. And I know this may sound weird to some of you guys, but this changed my life. I want you guys to start writing stuff down. And every single morning you get up, I want you to say these these things that you've written down. Hey, I'm gonna be pro. Hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna win today, man. I'm gonna get back up. I want you to have those ten things. Let these ten things, Finley, be your go-to. And I guarantee you, it's going to start to change your mentality. And when you start playing, you're going to be filled with confidence and, 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 and um, you're going to be, you're going to have courage instead of fear. Okay. Yeah. So this is what I want you to do. But Finley, I just want to say, I'm proud of you. I'm so blessed, man, that, that you called in and you're sharing your story. And it just sounds like, man, you, your, your future is very, very bright. Thank you. Yeah, man. So is there any other thing I can help you with before we get to our uh, our next caller? Um, no, not at all. Everything's good? Yeah. All right, cool, man. Are you, are you eating that bunch of crunch? Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try and get some. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> man, we got to send you some bunch of cups, man. You, you, listen, bro, you haven't lived yet. You got you to gotta eat them. All right, man, well, you're going to do great, man. <laughs> Write those 10 things down, and I want you to say those things about yourself every single day. All right, bro? Yeah. All right, Finlay. Nice talking to you, man. Hey, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Cool, man, cool. So, listen, that brings us to our second thing, guys. You know, we're going to get into our next caller, but what are you saying about yourself? I used to say so many negative things about myself, and... Man, what you say about yourself, you actually start to believe. If you're calling yourself a bot all the time, if you're saying that you suck, if you're saying that you're never gonna make it, if you're saying like, I'm never gonna have any friends, I'm never gonna have, you know, someone that, that I can love and trust. If you're saying these things, guys, guess what? You're gonna believe it. And once you believe it, you're gonna do it. If I say over and over, you know, all the time, like, I'm gonna die when I start, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Like, when I start, I'm, because I believed it, I'm gonna die. It's amazing what you're gonna do in this game and also in life, when you start changing the negative mindset to a positive winner's mentality. And I want you guys to start speaking positivity over your lives, okay? Can you guys start doing that? What are some of your goals? I wanna see in the chat, what are some of your goals? Like, where do you guys wanna be? What do you guys wanna do? You have to have vision. You have to ha know where you want to go. And that's, that's going to change um, so many things for you guys. All right. So we're going to get into our next, our next caller is going to be calling in right now. And I want to hear a little bit about their, their issue, what's going on with them. Because I really believe what we're going to talk about is really going to help them. So we got some people, Cuban, you want to be, a, you want to be a pro. We got Edox, want to be a pro. I love it. We got a bunch of people who are aspiring to be pros. YT, Known, Nuki. I'm sorry, I'm messing all these names up. You wanna go, you wanna be at the top. I love it. Uh, we got Nam, Nam, Kirby. You wanna go to the World Cup? Man, I believe in you, man. I believe in you, I know you're gonna do it. So our next caller, we got my boy Zed on the line. Zed, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Zed, how you doing, bro? Pretty good. How are you? Good, man. So tell us about yourself, man. You know, how old are you? Where are you from? I'm uh, 15. I'm from Eastern United States. Yeah, nice. So what game do you play, bro? Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been playing Fortnite? I've been playing Fortnite since about uh, season four, I'd say. I was on originally controller, but then about season 10, I was like really wanting to go pro. So I switched to keys by then and just try to be motivated and try to get good at the game on keyboard and mouse. Nice. How's that working for you? I, it's, I've been, I'm an improving. That's the main goal right now. <laughs> Great. I love it, man. Keep grinding. Don't ever stop. Like I say every day, man, don't ever give up. So how can I help you today, Zed? What, what's uh, going on? My, with you? Men, my mentality is just so bad, you know, like I keep on going into games like, you know, like Oh, I'm not gonna win, you know, I'm not gonna get as many kills as I hope, you know, I'm not gonna get good loot, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, just like our first caller with Finlay, you know, our negative mentality starts like before we even start playing. So can you tell me about that? What what are some other things that you are negative about? And you know, if you can be honest, when did this negativity start happening in your life? Uh I'd say this negativity for a few years probably it's been really i've been noticing it you know like not really being that kind of positive type of person you know like going into things just not really wanting to think about the positive side because if i go in there thinking like i'm gonna win and then i don't win you know i got my hopes up and then mm. i just feel even worse so so basically you have a fear of failure it's like yeah. it's like i can't even like have a goal of winning because if i don't win I'm going to feel even worse. That's what happens to you, right? Exactly. So when did this first started happening? Because, you know, I feel like as kids, you know, we kind of have this like innocence and freedom and it's like, yeah, I want to be this when I grow up. I want to do this. Like, I feel like kids feel like they can do anything. And then we, we run into a disappointment. What was that first disappointment, disappointment for you, Zed, where you felt like, man, it's hard for me to just believe anymore. Mainly with like, right, like what I said, whenever I switched the keyboard and mouse, you know, I was like, I'm going to get so good at this game. I'm going to finally, you know, be good at this game for once. And then it like, I took way harder than I actually believed it would, you know, I got myself down a little bit, you know, that's when I started really thinking negatively. Okay. So, so the negativity started with the first major disappointment when you first started and it didn't go so well. Yeah. 
Got you. And ever since your first major disappointment, it's hard for you to believe that you're gonna do anything good anymore. Pretty much, yeah. Got you, got you. Well, listen, I know I know so many people can relate to this, you know, and, and I, I totally get it. But I wanted to ask you because I feel like when we go through disappointments, it's sometimes it's easy for us to say, oh, I only have a negative mentality in this game that I play. But I really believe like the negative mentality comes before you even start the game. So I kind of want to go back just a little bit more, you know, when you, you know, growing up, like what are, what are, what, are, what were some disappointments that you felt to kind of attribute to this negative, this negative mindset before you even started playing Fortnite? I used to do like a bunch of sports when I was like a little kid, you know, like basketball and soccer and all that kind of stuff. You know, I would go into like games, like it wasn't as major as it was now, but like back then I was like, oh, I'm, we're going to win this game and then we don't win this game and then I get sad and like, yeah. just like the little things. Wow. So Zed, this is kind of what I'm hearing from you, you know, as your motivation guy, I, you know, you've, you've experienced some hurt, you know, like growing up. You've experienced yeah. a lot of disappointments. And now I feel like your your heart is like guarded by yourself. Like you're guarding your heart. And because you're guarding your heart, I feel like you're, you're not able to give your all. You're not able to give your all to the game. You're not able to be the best that you can be because you're so worried about getting disappointed. You're so worried about getting hurt. And so I really believe, Zed, you're gonna fulfill your potential when you let down your guards. When you just say, you know what, I'm just gonna go all in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. I'm, I'm not gonna think about the outcome. Sometimes I feel like we as gamers and different things in our life, I think we think too much about the outcome. We think so much yeah. about, oh, if, am I gonna win? Or am I gonna lose? Am I gonna place here? Am I gonna you know, look good with, with my team? And we're thinking too much about the outcome. I want you, Zed, I want you to stop thinking about the outcome so much and I want you to be in the moment. Can you just all be right. in the moment? That's what I want you to do, all right? You're gonna see a major right. difference in your game and everyone that's in the chat right now, I want you to be in the moment. Try, to just, just start being in the moment. Be in the moment, like trust yourself that when you practice, you're gonna leave everything you have on the court. I say on the court because I just literally thought about Kobe Bryant um, and I just thought about <laughs> like what he used to say, you know, the Mamba, the Black Mamba, like, he used to practice so much. And so when he went to the, when he got on the court, he just left everything on the court. And I want you to leave everything in the game. Mm -hmm. All right, Zach, can you start doing that from now on? Yeah. All right, be in I the will. moment and don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of losing because every time you're losing, you're really learning. Okay. Do you remember that? All right. Yeah. Don't I think will. about, <laughs> don't think about losing anymore, Zed. Every time you, you're losing, remember, you're learning. VOD review, do what you have to do, learn from your mistakes, and you're gonna continually to improve and you're gonna be unstoppable. For everybody in the chat, if you wanna be unstoppable, look at every loss as an opportunity to grow. Look at every loss as an opportunity to learn. What did I do wrong here? What mistake did I make? And then the next time, focus on those mistakes and then work on those mistakes, okay? And Zed, if you do that, bro, if you leave everything out in the game, I'm telling you, man, you're gonna be a completely different player in a couple months. Thank you. All right, bro? All right. All right, Zed. Well, I had an awesome time talking to you, man. And uh, I, have to, I, have to, I have to ask you this, man. You, you eating a bunch of crunch, right? What's up? Oh my gosh. You know how much I want it right now. <laughs> All right, Zeb, before I go to my next caller, can you, can, can, I know you watch our YouTube videos. Can you, can you do, can you do what I, what I do? Can you say what I say? Come on, man, say it. <laughs> come on, man, it's time to sit back. Come on, man, come on, do it from the world. Come on, it's Just time to, back. It's come time on. to sit back, relax. And you, <laughs> and you know what my favorite candy is. What's that? It's that bunch of crunch. <laughs> Woo! Let's get this going, man. Zed, thank you so much, bro. It was an honor to talk to you. It's an honor to talk to you too, dude. Thank you. Uh, all right, man. Keep it up. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. All right. Wow. That is so amazing, man. I, I think so. I, I'm really grateful to talk to Zed. Listen, guys, whew, man, positive mindset is everything. Like you could, you could practice for hours. You could do all that you can do. And honestly, you could get into the game and think you're going to lose and, and not do anything. And man, that's horrible. So 
I want you guys to improve your mindset. I want you guys to have a winning mentality. And this is, the, here, here are some tips for you to improve your mindset. You guys ready? Here we go. I want you guys, as I, as I, um, talk, I talked to Finlay, our first caller. I told him to set goals for, him, for himself. Set goals for yourself, guys. Write down at least 10 things that you want to do in the next two years. Write down things that you want to do right now. Write down the things. And after you write down these things, I want you guys to get up every single day before you game, before you do anything. All right? Brush your teeth, okay? You want, <laughs> you, you want to brush your teeth, okay? Yes. But after you do all of that, I want you to say out of your mouth, okay? I want you to say all these things that you wrote in your list about yourself. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change your life. The next thing that I want you to do, the next step is to visualize your success. Where do you want to be? I want you to dream. Do I have any artists in the house? Do I have any people that like to like create stuff? You know, one thing that I used to do, I used to, I, I drew, I created this thing where I was speaking in front of a lot of people. You know, and so every single day I would see me speaking in front of a lot of people. And so I want you, you want you to make like, like an illustration or something that you can, that you can look at every single day. Maybe that's you winning the World Cup. Maybe, maybe that's you, you know, traveling somewhere or, or you making or buying your parents a new house. Like whatever it is, I want you to just draw something, create something, and you can look at that. Every single day you get up, you're looking at the picture, you're looking at the goals, and this is how you're gonna improve that mindset. The next thing, is that I want you guys to get a coach. Work with a coach, man. Get, get a coach, you know, pro guides. We, we have so many amazing coaches. Get somebody that can work with you guys, all right? And then the next thing, before we get to our next caller, this is like the most important thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's impossible to be positive around negative people. Put in the chat right now, if you've been around, like if you have negative friends, who has some negative people that they're around? Negative teammates, negative people that, you know, that you game with. Because no matter how positive you are, oh my goodness, if you have negative people around you, you're never gonna be able to be positive. And I had to make changes in my life, dude. Like people ask me all the time, Keith Allen, why are you so positive? I'm positive because, well, mostly because of the people that I'm around. I'm around a lot of positive people, you know? So I'm reading in the chat right now, Evian, 100%. Sun dude, I see you. Cretex, family, <laughs> your brother. <laughs> yeah, my brother. Yeah, that's that's a whole other story. I know we got our siblings, you know. Uh, Trevman65, you do sometimes. Your dual partner, your dual partner's negative solar eclipse? Oh, no, who's that solar eclipse? No, that was someone else. Someone said their dual partner. If your dual partner is negative, I'm sorry. I think it's about time that you start looking for a new dual partner. You cannot be with a partner with somebody that's negative. Like, oh, you're never gonna be successful that way. Sorry. You gotta be a positive people. TDJ, I see you. All right, so we're gonna get into our next caller. Man, I hope you guys are learning something. I hope you guys are ready to make your dreams come true. Because it's time. It's time, man. It's time to change our mentality. It's time to, to spread positivity to everywhere we go everywhere we go. So we got our next caller coming up right now. We got Little Man. Little Man, you there? Yeah. Welcome. How you doing, bro? I'm good. good. How are you? Good, man. So tell us a little bit about yourself, how old you are, where you're from. Uh, I am 26. I am from South Dakota. Nice. And I am currently addicted to Valorant. Yeah. Man, how long you've been? Uh, how long you been playing now? Um, I've only actually been on it for about a month now. Great. So, what is your favorite thing about about the game you play, about Valorant? Uh, I don't know. I just I have a group of friends that I play with, which uh, makes it more fun, I guess. And we kind of just lift each other up and work together to make each other better. So. Little man, that is so incredible, bro. You have people around you that are positive, <laughs> so that helps you, right? Yeah, for sure. What is it like to have negative people around you? Can you tell us, like, what is it like for you? Uh, for me personally, I already tear myself down enough. So uh, whatever they tell me, I take to heart and believe it 100%. Mm. Um, so it yeah. just kind of makes my life worse, I guess. Yeah. So let me ask you this, man. How do you tear yourself down? Um, well, I have Crohn's disease. And uh, I guess a good example for me is every time I, like, get into a flare-up, uh, it just like makes me feel unreliable to people okay. because 
if I commit to something and I can't show up, then, like, that hurts me personally. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm a very caring person, and a lot of times I open up to people too much, and mm. that just doesn't work out the best, it seems like, most of the time. Yeah. You know what, man? I'm so sorry about that, man. When you open up to people, guys, you got to make sure to have a positive mindset. You cannot share everything about yourself to everybody because I'm sorry, like there's certain people that will take advantage of that and they'll use that as a weapon towards you. So I know that happened to me so much growing up. I shared a lot of my heart with people when it came back the wrong way. But anyways, I want you to explain to, to us this, man. What is, you said Chrome disease. What is that for you? Like, what, what is that? Uh, so it's actually a uh, GI uh, issue, I guess. Basically, uh, when I got diagnosed at 18, I had, uh, I believe it was 12 ulcers that they found in my stomach or in my uh, small intestine. Um, wow. Basically, it's like having a food allergy. I don't digest certain foods. Um, and yeah, it just, it's bad. <laughs> wow. So can you just kind of explain to some of our viewers? I know some people are dealing with different things. You know, how is, how is like Crohn's disease, man? Like that's, that's, that's really tough to deal with. You know, how is that, um, how is that, uh, you know, made you struggle like with different things? Um, well, with my Crohn's disease, every time I go into a flare up, uh, I basically, it's guaranteed that I'll go into a very dark depression. Um, just because of, yeah, I guess it just comes with the territory I was told by my doctors. Um, I haven't really learned how to deal with it. I can kind of tell when I'm going uh, into the depression, but like, I don't know how to pull myself out of it. Um, trying to talk to people and stuff like that just doesn't work because a lot of people don't understand what I'm going through. Yeah, but and, yeah. yeah so. so when you say you get into depression, what is what is this depression like? When you're depressed, what does it feel like for you? Um. I would say that I'm just in a very negative mindset. Um, I just think really low of myself. Uh, like I look mm. at someone and go, oh, there's no way I could ever do that. No matter how much practice I put in, like it mm. doesn't pay off. Nothing, nothing Got works you. for me. Got you, man, man. Well, dude, I'm so glad that you, uh, that you called in today, man. All, all of our family that's watching, man. Um, I'm sure you're, you're helping people out, bro. So. That is really, really cool that you're, you're calling in, you know, for that. So, man, how can I, um, how can I help you? What, what do you, how do you want me to help you today? Um, I think more than anything, I want, uh, just ideas on how to just look at myself in a more positive mindset. Yeah. Um, in Oof. terms of just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me, let me just say this, like, um, oh my goodness, for, for those of you who have struggled with different things like, uh, like acne or like, I know for me, um, in high school, um, I, I think my last like junior year, senior year, I like, man, I had the worst case of acne. Like I had pimples all over my face and, um, I was, you know, like a lot of people, you know, made fun of me. Um, and it really, really jacked up my self-esteem. Um, it really, like my confidence, oh my goodness, I had no confidence. I had no confidence. And what it did was, uh, little man, like it made me just focus on myself all the time. And when you focus on all your negative problems, guys, you will always be depressed. You will always be depressed. When you just think about all the bad things in your life and, and how you're not adding up to this and comparing yourselves to other people, like you will always be depressed. So this is what I had to do, little man. I, I got to the point where I started to see how I can make other people feel better about themselves. And when I just started doing that, like little stuff, you know, like just, you know, speaking up for somebody or, you know, if someone's feeling down, hey man, how you doing? Hey, I just want to let you know, man, you're, you're a great guy. Hey man, you're, you know, you're, 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 you're talented. Do you know you're talented? I just started just focusing on everybody else and trying to make them feel better about themselves. And little man, this is a crazy thing, bro. When I started doing that, I started to feel better about myself. I like, so this is what I want you to know, little man, you have such a great gift inside of you. I think you have so much potential. Your heart, when I hear you, I can tell that you're a person that's trustworthy. 
You're, are you, do you feel like that about yourself? Oh yeah, for sure. Do you feel like friends can trust you? Yeah. I, I have a lot of friends that just come to me with everything and oh. like it stays between me and them. I can so. tell, man. I can hear you and I can hear your heart and I can see, man, that you're an amazing friend. So this is what I want you to do. This is what's gonna help your mindset even when you play, all right, even when you game. I want you to start bringing this mentality because you have a gift. Not everyone has this gift that you have, little man. You have a gift to make people feel better about themselves. So I want you to focus this week. I want you to focus today. I want you to focus on all your people, all your friends, family, whatever it is. Every single time you know you start feeling depressed, I want you to, to purposely just send out like encouragement to other people. Can you start doing that? Yeah. I want you to purposely do it. That's what I had to do. I had to do it on purpose. When you do that, when you start being the person, like you're the person that makes everyone feel better about themselves, all of a sudden, all this positive energy starts coming upon you. It's crazy. Now all of a sudden, dude, like you're excited about life. And even when you're going through the pain that you're going through with Chrome's, like you'll, you'll still see how I, you can make someone else's day better. And I'm telling you, it's, it's gonna change your life. Can you do that? For sure. All right, that's what I want you to do. And people who are in the chat right now, I want you to do that. I want you to start thinking about people that you can impact. Start thinking about friends, family, that you can just send an encouraging statement to. Hey, I just wanna let you know I like this about you. Just start doing that. If you can do that to a few people every single day, I'm telling you, depression, oh, it has to go. <laughs> it has to go. Cause you're no longer thinking about yourself anymore and all your issues and all your struggles. Making somebody laugh, making someone like feel good about themselves. Oh, it is like, it's the best feeling. I love doing what I do. I really, really do, man. So little man, is that, is that, is, is that all that I can help you with today? Is there anything else before I let you go? Uh, I mean, as far as I can think of off the top of my head right now. All right, little man. Well, thank you so much, man. And uh, you, you're eating that bunch of crunch, right? Of course. I love this guy. I love this guy. Keep going, man. <laughs> Hey man, All spread right. spread the bunch of crunch love, man. Bunch of crunch makes me happy, it really does. All right. And I'm not sponsored by them. I just I just love them. I just love them. Anyways, man, thank Apparently you so much. I know one day I am. We're working on it, man. <laughs> We're working on it. Little man, thank you All so right. much. No problem. Thank you. Uh, all right, keep going. Woo, that was so amazing, dude. Like that was so dope. Did you guys feel that? I hope you guys learned from that. I hope you guys are inspired from that. Somebody with Crohn's disease. My goodness, wow, like, and he's making it, he's doing his thing, and his, his life is really gonna be, get better as he starts focusing his attention on other people. So, it's gonna be really cool. So, I'm, gonna, I'm looking at the chat right now. There's any questions, people have any questions about winning mentality or something that maybe you're struggling in, and I'm just looking real quick, where you guys can, um, you guys can say something, ask something. <laughs> Duck for luck said, this is where men become, this is where boys become men. <laughs> I love the motivation, guys. I love it, man. Keep, keep doing it. Okay, so we got Moot. We got Moot J. You say, you know, you know what is weird? I'm someone who is funny and I love to be on a podium without even being nervous. But if I fight just one player, I am scared and begin choking. Why? That's a very good question, bro. I honestly believe it's the same thing the same thing that was happening with Little Man. When you're on the podium, you're thinking about other people. You're thinking about making other people laugh. The attention is about other people. I, I think when you're playing, I believe you're putting too much attention on yourself. And I think you need to start focusing on, you know, if you're playing in a team match, you know, um, a team mode, you know, focus on how can you, you know, be the best teammate. That, that really helps. Um, I believe when you're playing, I think you're thinking too much. You're overthinking, and I believe you need to start being in the moment. Stop thinking about the outcome. When you make people laugh, you're not thinking about the outcome. You're just doing it, right? You're just doing it. So just let yourself go, and I'm telling you, man, you're gonna, you're gonna start seeing a major improvement. Major improvement, yeah. Um, do we have any other questions? Any other questions? Um, sometimes, Edux, sometimes my trios jokes about me because I'm younger, what should I say to them? I would have real talk with them, you know? Um, I would just say, hey, just be real. I think sometimes when it comes to being on a team with people, you have to really express how you feel. 
hey, so when you do this, this is how this is how it makes me feel. I would appreciate if we're gonna stay being on this team together, that you would stop making fun of me, stop putting me down because I'm younger. I'm here obviously because it's not about my age. I'm here because I deserve to be here. And that's what you need to say. And they have to respect that, period. Um, <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? Eddie, Eddie the boy. How do I not get angry and not call myself bad when I die? It's embarrassing. Because Eddie, I think you're not understanding your process. You're not, Eddie, you're not living in, in the journey. You know, I'm here today. I was just talking to, uh, <laughs> I think it was either Finlay, probably Finlay or Zeta, but I remember talking to them and they were, they noticed that I've improved so much since my first video. <laughs> Since my first YouTube video and, and what I'm doing today, like I've improved, but you know what? I, I had to enjoy the journey. I don't believe you're enjoying your journey. Every time you lose, it's an opportunity for you to win. Every single time that I have failed, I take a step back and I evaluate myself. Every time I play Fortnite and I just get W keyed on and, and I, I lose in the first five minutes of the game, <laughs> instead of me just like freaking out, just breaking my controller or breaking the keyboard, like what I do is, you know, I take a step back and I evaluate where kind of, how can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? I want you to start doing this. Take a step back and start learning, you know, where, how you can grow, okay? And you're not gonna be mad that much anymore. All right, all right, anybody else? Uh, we got, who do we got, who do we got? So it's Eclipse, how do I control my teammates who W key mindlessly <laughs> and they get us killed and it makes me mad? How do you control your teammates? This, this is another talk. You, Listen, we have to ha be comfortable to talk to our teammates. We have to say, hey, we're not on the same page. If we're not on the same page, we're never gonna win. You play like this and I play like this. In order for us to be on the same team, we all have to play like this. So maybe you're gonna have, to, if they don't listen to you, you're probably gonna have to find some, some, more, some new teammates. Some teammates, man, that can join you, that could be, that, that, could, that has your mindset, you know? Uh, who else, who else, who else? Donnie? Donnie, how do I get better at building and stop messing up with my edits? Man, creative. <laughs> That's a whole nother question now. That's a whole nother, whole nother show. Creative, creative, practice grinding, never stops. Um, what else, what else, what else? I want some more questions right now on mentality, on mentality, on what's going on with your mind. Oh, wow. So we got done. Do now, I'm sorry, I messed up all the names. I don't know how, to, how they're pronounced. Do now 123. I always get bullied for having bad skins. Yeah, I get it. I, I understand. Um, but you know what, man? That that time will pass. This time will pass for you. And I'm sorry that you've been through this. I went through it. Um, a lot of people don't know that. That is a part of my story. Um, I know when we hit 1 million subscribers on our YouTube vid, you're gonna see my story. But that is a part of my story is that I did suffer from bad skin and um, yeah, I went through it, but it made me who I am today. Now I don't like to make people feel bad about themselves. So I want you to done, do now, whatever, done now. I want you to turn this negative into a positive. Now I want you to make other people feel good about themselves. Can you do that? Make other people feel even better about themselves. Okay? All right, do that. All right, guys. Well. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. Before I do that, see your boy Pikachu, how do I deal with toxic teammates? <laughs> Conversations. This is how you deal with toxic teammates. You have to draw the line in the sand. You have to say, listen, I play like this. This is my mindset. Are you gonna join me or not? Because I can't be around negative people. I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it. So we're gonna do just like a recap with some of the things that we talked about today. If you guys remember, um, the first thing is, I don't see it in front of me, so, okay. So the first thing is, is our mindset. Remember, the mindset is how we, you know, it's how we think, right? It's how we interact with the world. That is your mindset. So remember that, your mindset, and always turn that negative into a positive. Remember my story. Remember the, the times where I was rejected by my friends, and, not, and they made me feel so much pain, and now I don't want anyone to feel that pain. And now my mission is to make people feel great about themselves, to make everyone feel like they belong make everyone feel like they're valuable because of the pain that I went through. So that negative is now turned into a positive. So I want you guys to do that, I want you to do that. I also talked about, you know, what you're saying about yourself um, is so important. 
I want you to do that. Stop speaking negativity about, about yourself. Speak positive things about yourself. Remember the, the, the things I want you to write down. Write down your goals. Write down just different things about yourself that you can say every single day, all right? I want you to do that. And uh, your friends, you need to be around positive people. I'm sorry. This is the time in your life, I don't care how old you are, if, if you wanna be successful in this game, if you wanna be successful in life, you have to have the right people around you. And it, it's, probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be a little uncomfortable to have conversations with people, but you have to say, listen, this is who I am, and I don't wanna be around you know, negative people anymore. All right, that's, that's, how, that's how you're gonna really kill it, man. And uh, I wanna leave you with this. What are you feeding yourself? I want you guys to start, you know, maybe reading like some positive books or listening to some other motivational speakers every single day. I want you to fill yourself with positivity before you even play, before you start to play, before you start the game. I want you guys to just enrich yourself with just positivity. That's what I do. I do it every day, every day. I start my day off with positive just information coming in and it just, it makes me positive. So I want you guys to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, this is your motivation show. I am your motivation guy. Man, I love you guys. I don't think I would be doing this today um, if, if, if I didn't really like truly care about your success. I want you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. I believe in you. I don't care if the world is against you. I felt the world was against me, but I kept going. I believed in myself and I'm gonna help you get there. Join me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here. The next thing we're gonna talk about on Friday is how to be great. Oof, I'm excited. Friday at 12, we're talking about how to be great. And I want you just to, to share with somebody, invite some friends, because this is so amazing. All right, we'll see you next time.